Hi everyone, uh, this is Trevor here. So today we are going to discuss the problem stock buy and sell. So before discussing that, if you are loving this placement series, please, please make sure you like this video. Along with that, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe it. The problem is an easy one. Now, if an interview is for one hour, the interviewer might give this problem as a warm up problem just to test out that are you good enough or not. And based on this, he might give a good problem in the, in the next half of the interview. So the problem basically tells you is you're given N stock rates. And what you need to do is you need to find out on which day you buy the stock and some other day you need to sell it. The difference of that, like let's say you buy the stock on this day. So the rate is five and you sell that stock on this day. So the rate is three. So you have a loss of minus two rupees, right? But what if, if you buy the stock on this day and you sell it on five, so you have a profit of four. So what if, if you buy it on one and sell it on six, so the profit will be five, that's six minus one. So the problem is super simple. You just need to print out the maximum profit that you can make. So if you are asked uh, this question in the interview, you're going to uh, propose the brute force solution to the interview. Basically you tell us you keep the I at this portion and for the J you linearly traverse in the right half and check if someone is greater than seven. If someone is, you can store the difference over here. There is no one next time you keep the I over here and again, check out on the right. If someone is greater than one, so you check out there is five. So the difference that you get is four. You check out there is six. The difference that you get is five. There is also three. The difference that you get is two. There is also four. The difference that you get is three. So among this five is the maximum. So you store it. Similarly, you can keep on moving I and for every I you check on the right. So if you check out the complexity, it will be big O of N square because for the first time it takes N minus one, then N minus two, then N minus three, then N minus four and N minus five and so on. Basically, when you add it up, you will get big O of N square and the space complexity used is big O of one. But this, uh, this is not what the interview wants. So he'll tell you to optimize it. And the sole reason uh, to give this problem is basically to test. Can you come up with a quick optimal solution? You should not take much time to tell him the optimal solution. So the optimal solution to this is you linearly traverse in the array. And if you are at a given index, I you just linearly uh, keep track of the minimal element on the left side. Let me explain. So initially uh, let's keep the minimum as some bigger value like 189 or int max for that case. So first time you come to seven. So update the minimal as seven and let's keep the profit as zero because if, if everything is in the decreasing order, like five, four, three, two, one, then you will not buy the stock because if you're buying it, you will end up on the loss. So it's better not to buy. So the maximum profit, let's keep it as zero. So you get it as seven, right? So once you get the minimal as seven, as of now, if you assume that you bought the stock on the minimal price, that is seven. Now you're selling it on seven. So the profit that you're making is zero rupees. So let's not count that in. In the next step, you come to one. Now when you're coming to one, the minimal gets updated to one. Now what if, if you want to sell the stock over there? Again, profit zero, don't do anything, move to five. Now when you're coming to five, the minimal still stays one because you're trying to keep a track of the minimal on the left of the index that you're standing at. So the minimal is one on the left. So as of now, if you try to sell it at the price five, the profit that you're going to make is four, which is greater than zero. So let's update it. So the maximum profit is four. That's very obvious because if you buy it at one and you sell it at five, then it's fine. Next time you get to three. So the profit that you make will be two which is not greater than the profit that you earlier made. Next time you get six. So the profit that you made is five. So yeah, you can update the profit to five. Next time you get the profit as four. So you can again see that the profit is three and a lot updated. And meanwhile, never ever will the minimal get updated because even if it is three, six, four, the minimal still stays as one. So I didn't show a dry run for minimal. So in this way, once you have completed the linear pass, you will have the profit stored as the maximal because for everything you knew, which was the minimal stock value on the left. If you're standing at a given index, just imagine you're trying to sell it on that index. 
So you can easily find the profit and whatever is the maximum that will be your answer. So the time complexity for this will be a single pass. So it's a big O of one and the space complexity will be a big O of one. So now let's discuss the C++ as well as the Java solution. So the C++ solution uh, is basically you take a maximum profit and then you take the minimal price basically stores the minimal to the left that is int max or 189 or any greater value that you want to take. And you linearly traverse from zero to basically the size of the price of stocks that are given for a given day. Then you just update the minimal at every stage. And after that, you try to sell it. If you're trying to sell it, the profit will be price of I minus minimal price. And basically after you have sold it, you got the profit and you just compare with maximum pro and you store the maximum of both of them. And after that you return the maximum profit made. Now let's uh, check out the Java code. So in the Java code, again, you store the minimal as integer dot max value. You store the max profit as zero. And what you do is basically traverse for the entire length of the price of stocks and you keep updating the minimal price if it is minimum. And after that, if you see that the profit made is greater than the maximum profit that you stored, you simply update the max profit and you can simply return the max profit that you got. So I hope uh, you understood this easy problem. So if you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video. Along with that, if you are new to our channel, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also do check out our other videos. Also, if you wish to join our telegram group or if you want to follow me at Instagram, you can find the links in the description. So with that, I will wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next video where I'll be solving the next problem from the SD sheet.